so anybody who's dealt with this issue uh, would probably have a pretty quick answer to this. Uh, if you haven't dealt with it, then it may seem a little uh, out there. The architect is reviewing the bid from one of the potential contractors. It includes a retainage of 20%. Which of the following is probably true? It's a typical new construction project. It's a typical adaptive reuse project. It's a government contract. It is probably an historic renovation. So, okay, what is retainage? Retainage uh, is the idea that uh, um, you're going to um, hold back a certain amount of money uh, in order to, uh, as you pay out each of the uh, contracts, as you pay out the plumbers, as you pay out the masons, as you pay out uh, all of these other folks, you're going to hold a little bit of that money back. Uh, and you're going to, uh, even if they've done, you know, 50% of the work, you're not going to pay them the full 50%. You're going to hold back a certain uh, retainer. Uh, the only reason you would use a retainage so high is if you're doing a complicated project like a historic renovation. Uh, so it's possible that you might have a 10% uh, retainage on a typical uh, project, uh, either new construction or adaptive reuse. Government sometimes is 5%, depends on the scale, sometimes 10%. The only time it would go above that would be in a very highly specialized situation and you need to have uh, a lot of ability to get those contractors to come back onto the site. That's what retainage is about. It's about uh, holding on to a certain percentage of the money until the project is done and then that way when the project is finally getting ready, if there's just a few little pieces, that means there's still 20% of their fee waiting to, for them to get paid, even though they only have a little bit of touch-up or a little bit of uh, masonry work. It's uh, the kind of thing you would do in a highly specialized thing to have it be that high. For those of you who are ready to start preparing for the ARE right now, and if you're already an AIA member, you can use coupon code 41817PJMYT to get a 15% discount for the entire duration of your ARE exam prep membership. Finally, please leave a comment below the video to let us know what you think and share any suggestions you may have. I promise we'll read every word that you write and use them to tune our next episodes. So thanks for watching.